Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another, actually my first real episode of Fishing Sim World. And I've learned a few things since I've played the last time on my first look. We, there's still a lot to learn. This is, this is a very involved game. So I'm learning as we go. I don't sit there and spend too much time playing unless I'm recording with you guys. But I have gone in and tried to get a little bit more practice with the controls and managed to get to the second level. I also found a few bugs while I was going through and one of which I will tell you as we come in here to this location. This location right here we're going to go ahead and teleport in. Alright this is the situation I'm talking about guys. I was fishing over here on this dock. And it just so happened that I was fishing down on this side over here, at the end of that dock. And I was casting into, right beside, let me go ahead and face this direction here, that might make it easier. I was basically going that direction. Well, I found out that when a fish grabbed it, it didn't, it didn't happen right away. I caught three or four fish doing this. And... Well, one of the smallmouth bass that I caught went right behind the dock. And let me go ahead and reset this cast. Went right behind the dock over here. And for some reason, he got stuck there. And no matter what I did, no matter how much I reeled, nothing would make me let loose of him. Wouldn't even snap the line even. I had to completely quit out. So I don't know if the devs are aware of that, but I will tell you, if you're going to fish by the dock, make certain, make absolutely certain that you're as far out from all these little corners and stuff as you can. In other words, be out, you know, like maybe out there in the middle or something. But yeah, that was, that was not good. That was not good at all. That made it impossible for me to play. But we are not going to stick around the dock here. We're going to go find some place interesting to fish at. I'm not really in particular trying to get any specific species. I'm just kind of fishing at this point. Eventually I will be getting to that. I've managed to catch three different species out of here. I've caught a pike, a crappie, and smallmouth. I did catch a yellow perch, but I don't think it counted it. But I'm going to keep going down here because there's a little inlet over here. And those inlets, they always seem to be pretty fruitful. And I'm going to check this out just to see. It looks like there's a lot of cliff facing. So this is probably going to be an excellent spot for smallmouth bass. Which really, at this point, I don't care. Now, I don't know if you can see over on the right, but that is a fish finder. I don't know if I pointed that out in my first look. I think I did, but so far we're not seeing any fish. Now we're seeing fish. Now, a lot of these fish that are deep, those might be crappie. Crappie sometimes like it nice and deep. Oh, this looks like an amazing place to catch smallmouth. Yep. In fact, I think we're going to stop here because it looks like a good spot. Alright, then you hit Q to switch to fishing. Now, there's something else that I did find out. There is a first person view. If you hit V, you now are fishing in first person. Now, it's not too bad on the boat. Now, if you're on the dock, it's a little clunky. But here, not so bad. Not so bad at all. Now, I'm going to go ahead and check my inventory here. I haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead. But, see, this is where it gets a little complicated. You have different rods that you can use. This one happens to be a rod that um, is a float fishing. And this one's a popper, and you can switch these. Now, that is actually a carp beginner reel, so I don't think we'd be wanting to use that. 
not out here there aren't any carbs so we're going to pretty much use stick with this and if we have some lily pads we might use this popper but I don't think there's anything else that you can really change this with I'm still like I said learning it does say manage let's see what that says ah We'll just go with this for now. Go with the default while we're learning, that kind of thing. All right, we are going to try over here, I think. And we're going to do this in first person, guys. So, get that ready. And here's something else, guys. There's another thing called a switch casting method. If you hit the Q, you are now going to cast from the side, your right side. If you hit the Q again, now you're going to lob it. Like if you were trying to get it right in front of you in a little specific spot. Let me show you what I mean. Just like that. And see that allows you to lob it. Now if there was lily pads over there and there was an open spot, I would have been able to throw it right in there. Just perfect. The other thing is when you retrieve, you need to try to make sure that circle stays green. That means that it's attractive to the fish. If it's red, it's not as attractive. Strikes are still kind of tricky. I'm still getting the hang of that. So, But I am going to switch this back to... Whoop, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back. Let me go ahead and switch my casting method. That's what I wanted to do, but I forgot about how to... Okay, this is your basic throw, and this is over your head. So, that's what we're going to do. Now, first of all, I don't know how far that's going to cast, because it will hit the rocks if I'm not careful. Now, I'm going to keep this kind of low. And see, this is a rattle trap, so we want to keep it a, either a stop and go or a slow steady. All right, let's throw this out a little bit further. Hopefully, I won't hit the side of the wall. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, I'm going to move this over here and we're going to do it to the side here. And I'm going to decrease my reel speed too. See, it's down at the bottom, so it's down fairly deep, but not so deep that it's ridiculous. It's 3.4 feet. I'm actually using a stop and go. I'm still learning how to get that right. The 9 increases your speed. 0 increases your speed. I'm sorry, I got that completely wrong. Let's try that a little faster. Alright, nothing seems to be interested. Let's try... Well, there was, seemed like there was fish around here. 100%, perfect. Alright, let's... There we go, stop and go. Perfect strike. There you go, guys. Now you can set your tension with your middle mouse button, but see, it's, he's pulling too hard. So we need to take it down a notch. Need to reel in a little bit faster. He's trying to make a break for it here. Yeah, I always play with that tension. Oh, looks like we got him. Hey, not bad. 
It's another pike. Let's see, nine pounds, nine ounces, my personal best, but then like I said, I haven't been playing that long. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Let's see what we can get over here. You're not going to catch a fish every cast, guys. This is just like in real fishing. Every cast is going to be a good one. Just keep trying. Keep casting. Move around. You might occasionally want to try different types of lures. Of course, I don't have that many at this point, but when you get a little further along, that's true in real life, guys. Ah, see, that's too far. The only good thing is, is it's usually it doesn't stay there. We'll plop down into the water. That's kind of unrealistic, <laughs> but yeah, if I didn't, if I had done that in real life, I'd probably snagged it on the rocks. Yeah, I saw a fish, but he wasn't interested. Hmm. Dag on it. They're going to be picky. It looked like a pike too. It was long bodied, so pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, I kind of figured the pike would be more over by the lily pads or the reeds and stuff. Ah! Four strike. Ah, uh, at least I got him. Oh, I think it's a, cr I think it's a crappie, guys. Yeah, it is. Any cute? <laughs> Personal best. Yes, yeah, it'll be my second crappie. Only about five or six more of those. We might actually have a meal. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and continue, guys. Let's go somewhere else here. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch locations. Let's go ahead and get this thing powered up. There are quite a few fish here, but I have seen these fish before. So I am going to head somewhere where there's a lot of vegetation or stick-ups or something like that because... I want to see if I can't find a largemouth bass. Stick-ups would be perfect. And it's really deep here. Those fish are way down there. Yeah, there's some lily pads right over here. Actually, there's quite a few of them. Yeah, this, this looks kind of ideal. I'll put myself a little more in the middle of this. Got reeds over there. Let me go ahead and get this get out of here. Yeah, it looks like we have reeds and stuff over here. We got lily pads over there. Yeah, this is some good cover for, for all kinds of fish. So might even go ahead and try our popper here. See if that does any good. Yeah, the popper for right on top of those lilies. But let's try this first see what we shall see. Oh, for, there it goes. It's like, what the heck? That's way too far. Yeah, they haven't said what happens if you get a snag, so... Doesn't look like I got a snag. That's kind of unusual. <sighs> Too far again. I 
there is a way to keep yourself from doing that. Let me go over here to the settings. Well, oh, you gotta use the arrow keys. Under your controls and the keyboard, I'm trying to remember what that's called. Yeah, set line clip. That's a T. What that does is that allows you once you get it in a place that can be cast safely that's as far as your cast will go that way you can keep yourself from overthrowing it I just have not mastered. Whoa, God, he's a strong little fella. I have not mastered the strike thing. Now, that's a nice one. Trophy catch. Awesome. Seven pounds, one ounce. Reached level three. You saw it here, guys. That's a nice fish. Yeah, this is a great spot. I would have just thought for sure that there would have been largemouth bass here. I've got to figure out that darn... See how it stopped? Didn't go any further than that. Now, I probably could have cast that farther on this, but... Alright guys, we're going to try this popper one, just to see how well it does. This should be the perfect place for that. Now, this time we're going to be using a twitch movement. And to do that, we're going to have to sit there and hit our right button as we can't reel in. Now, I have not done this that much. But we're going to throw that right over those lily pads. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, fish. Whoa, fish. There we go. Another nice one. I think it's another trophy. Yep. Six pound, five ounces. Well, I'm continuing to do pretty good, guys. And that was with a popper. Sorry about the dog crying. He wants out to be with my wife. And he's not going to get his way, whether he likes it or not. All right, well, it looks like we have done well with the smallmouth. Very happy with the way that's turned out. And the twitching works, too, guys. All right, let's see if we can't... There we go. That was a little easier than I could have hoped for, but... What is this fish doing? <laughs> I think we got us a... I don't think we got a small mouth this time. Well, I don't know, maybe. Another small mouth, but he's not a champion or a trophy. Not bad, but you notice how he's green? The other one was a little bit more yellow. Okay, we're getting the hang of this now, guys. We are getting the hang of this. Alright. Yeah, the, that time all I did was cast it out. He was...
Yeah, it works. Not sure what this is. This might be a Ching pick rod. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, there we go. We got a flying fish. <laughs> I think that is a pickerel, maybe. Let's see. Yep, chain pickerel. Perfect. First one. So that makes four species, guys. Not bad, not bad. Alright, guys. I think that's enough for at least one episode here. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Sim World. And always remember, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.